Hello? Hi there. Well, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to show you today a very simple example. First of all, I'm going to show you a little script I wrote in C. That's it. It's got include sys types, include uni standard, and it's got a simple int main function, um, printf. My PID is that, that stands for process ID equals decimal, which is an integer. Get process ID. Now we don't know if get process ID returns an integer. But that's what we're um, assuming. There is no way of knowing unless we actually look at into the types. Now we've got printf parent ID, process ID, parent process ID. Try saying that ten times quickly. <laughs> it has got a decimal again, uh, which is an integer. Get PPID, that's parent process ID. Return naught. Now I've already run it up here, which you've probably already looked at. So. The variables will change though. So we run the process. As you can see, the process ID has changed, but well, the parent process ID hasn't changed. That's because we're actually um, inside the same shell, which is 3108. Now, if we do process all, we should see 3108. There it is, that's the bash shell. So we know the actual parents ID is the bash shell. So I hope you find that very useful. I'm currently learning system calls um, under a book by Linux System Programming by um, O'Reilly. Robert Love wrote it. Robert Love, uh, Linux System Programming. It's currently dealing with process processors. So um, it's give a simple example at the start of the chapter, which I'll show you again. Is that I had to actually write the actual program because it did only include the header files and these lines here. I had to put it in a wrapper of an int main function which returns zero on success. Now these I could change that. Um, by going to VI process C and stick a void in there get rid of that now I'll show you a quick compile so there we go works what <laughs> we do have a couple of warnings this one that's because we haven't included a standard IO and this one because we changed main to void and that int that's because I don't want to return an integer simple as that hope you enjoy your life